in this presentation, we're going to talk about seeking appro your approval for your proposal for your project or your research. So we're going to look at approval entities, proposal language and writing style, content, and in judgment of the proposal. A proposal is a preliminary plan that contains information on what is going to be studied, why the topic is important, and how the study will be conducted. It serves as an agreement between the researcher and other invested or interested parties or stakeholders. Approval entities. You must seek permission to conduct a study from a relevant authority. In different places, this will be the study site, so where you're doing the research, a thesis or dissertation committee, so a group of mentors, the institutional review board, so this is a board of people that decide if the outcome is worth whatever risk there is involved, and then the funding sponsors, who's providing money to help pay for the research or the project. As far as getting your proposal in front of the, one of these entities, here are a few tips. You should prepare a proposal document, allow for plenty of lead-in time or discussion time at the beginning, if possible, get in on another proposal meeting so you understand the process and then rehearse according to that. Take notes on what requested changes that the people or the committee has. Develop a plan for handling any questions that come your way during the proposal or afterwards. And as always, get a good night's sleep and a good breakfast or a meal before you go into the meeting. An institutional review board. This is a group of people that make sure that your research is safe. They're responsible for determining if the researcher is treating study participants ethically and if the risk is worth the reward overall. It's typical for education institutions and government agencies, although it may be called something slightly different. In general, there's two types of reviews. There's an expedited review where the study does not present more than minimal risk to study participants. You know, no more than average risk of daily life. Then we've got a non-expedited review. That's when there's vulnerable participants or controversial interventions for data collection techniques or data extraction techniques, I would say. We need to make sure we stick to certain proposal language and writing styles. Here are a few tips. Make sure it's objective, so it has a business or scientific-like tone. Make sure it's quote-unquote informal, which means information is presented in an unpretentious manner. Make sure that the appropriate technical jargon is or is not included. In some cases, you absolutely want to include it, and you want to make sure it's detailed. In some cases, depending on the audience, you want to make sure you try to eliminate jargon and explain it in other ways. Overall, you want to make sure your information is blended, so a mixture of objective and informal styles so that you reach the maximum audience and you get the maximum transmission of information.